Back when I was a teenager, um, I had no trouble sleeping whatsoever. I used to joke that I could fall asleep standing up, like sleeping was my superpower. And obviously being fatigued, um, I seem to find it very easy to nod off at inappropriate times, like, you know, I'll just close my eyes on the sofa, bam, three hours, groggy, terrible. But when it comes to actively trying to sleep at night, I don't have an easy time anymore, you know, it's, um, it's, it can be a bit of a task sometimes, especially in the years since, you know, now I sleep with my partner and my cat's on the bed, they both fidget. They both snort, <laughs> bless them. I wouldn't change it for the world, but sometimes I find it hard to, to nod off. And that's not even talking about like horrible thoughts that come in your head in the middle of the night. Like you're all, you're all tucked up in bed and then you think, what am I doing with my life? What if it all ends tomorrow? <laughs> These horrible, horrible thoughts, this, this growing sense of anxiety that has, that's built up since my early twenties. Got news for you kids. It gets worse before it gets better. So I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I use to help me sleep. I think it's a helpful video, it would help me, so I'm gonna share it with you. That was the loudest van I've ever heard. So first off, I used to be someone that had to sleep with all of the lights off, um, no background noise, no light from the TV. Um, even if there was like a little standby light on my TV, I wouldn't be able to sleep. If there was a ticking of a clock, I wouldn't be able to sleep. As I've gotten older, um, now I pretty much need noise to fall asleep. Silence just awakens the anxiety demons in my head. So nowadays, um, I spend my time compiling my favorite 10 hour uh, sleep sounds on YouTube into a playlist. <laughs> Some people fall asleep to like the wind and the rain and thunderstorms or, you know, the pitter patter pitter patter on a car roof. I like a good rainstorm in my ears for 10 hours. I like to imagine I'm in a tent all by myself. What does that say about me? <laughs> I need to be alone. You know, whatever scenario in your head makes you feel relaxed, it's cool. If you need to be in a tent in a woods by yourself where no one knows that you exist, then, you know, tell your therapist, not me. No. <laughs> I should probably tell my therapist. I don't have a therapist. So sometimes I, I listen to these things just through my phone speaker next to me if I'm, you know, if, I'm, if I've gone to bed early and my partner's still downstairs. But in times where I can't do that because it's not considerate, um, you know, I used to have just headphones in my ears. But I'm a side sleeper. I'm a massive, massive side sleeper. And eventually those things just feels like they're going into your brain. So I picked up one of these. I did some research. I compared them all, all these little sleep headbands that you can get. If you just type in on, on Amazon, like sleep headband, or if, you know, if, if you don't want to support Amazon, you can obviously find the individual companies that make them. This is the cheapest one. Uh, it's by Music Cozy. There you go. Um, this is like 20 pounds. Some of them cost like 170 pounds. Some of them are absurd. Basically, all it is is just an elasticated headband. They're one size fits all. It's actually a little bit too big for me because Davey wore it and he stretched it a little bit. But it just has two little circular um, speakers in each side and then uh, excuse me, right? Because I don't care what I look like when I'm fucking asleep, right? So you're supposed to, you can... <laughs> Rad! So what you're supposed to do, just a quick demo, obviously it'll look, uh, look terrible. When you're running or in the gym, you can wear it like that, you know? I look like a, a woman who goes skiing in Aspen. But for nighttime, you just, you just slip it on down and it blocks light out if, you, if you're someone that doesn't like the light and then they just sit there on top of your ears. And when you lay on them, it's so much more comfortable. And <laughs> it's so much more comfortable than having headphones in. It's Bluetooth, rechargeable. Um, all you gotta do when you wanna wash it is take out this little square thing and then you can pop everything, including the speakers, into the washing machine. It takes like two hours to charge and it's supposed to last 10 hours. Uh, I've got way more than 10 hours combined out of one charge. Connects really easy. You've got volume up, volume down and off. Hopefully you don't have a partner that wants to hijack the connectivity and wake you up with death metal. He hasn't done it, but he's threatened to and I'm scared because you don't need a password or anything. It just connects to whoever requests it. So one to bear in mind. So yeah, sometimes I find it really, really helps. So sometimes my partner wants to fall asleep with the TV on, you know, watching a film and then you've got all the sort of the lights coming through. This works really, really well for that. It doesn't block out all light. You get a little bit by the bridge of your nose. But overall, it's pretty good. Pretty good for 20 quid. Um, not spawn, not affiliated. Just trying to share some good stuff with you. Another thing that's really helped me as a person with long hair, 
I have I've wanted one of these things for so long and I've always put it off because I thought that's not gonna make that much difference, right? It's a silk pillowcase. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice silk pillowcase. <laughs> this is this is what I make videos on now. Silk pillowcases have been recommended to people um, who have a hair type that is very prone to tangling. But I mean, my hair doesn't really tangle all that much, but I've noticed a massive difference between this silk pillowcase and a cotton one. Now my hair is finally of a pretty, pretty decent length. You know, now I'm finding that when I want to toss and turn, because I'm a massive fidget, um, you know, my hair will get caught behind my neck and I'll have to keep doing this all night. The point of having a silk pillowcase is that it reduces friction so your hair can slide across it. So if you do toss and turn, you're not ripping your hair out of your head, you know, it's tangling less. And also it's really, really cooling when you first put your head down on it. Overall, I guess like cotton is a little bit more breathable, like in the long term, like all night. But when you first put your head on this, it feels so nice. So that's, that's the thing. <laughs> so I guess a, a couple of other tips that I've developed over the years. I know this is different for everybody. Everyone's living situation is different. You know, I'm saying this is someone that, you know, doesn't live with their parents. And you know, I, I feel comfortable being in all rooms of my home. But if you can try and limit the amount that you're in bed doing anything other than sleeping and that I guess if you if you because you're gonna comment about it like only watch a film in bed if you're gonna fall asleep um, don't just sit there in bed playing a Nintendo Switch I'm not gonna be one of those assholes that tells you to not stare at your phone an hour before bed because fuck it you're gonna anyway I do but like basically you want to try and train your brain into releasing endorphins when it when you get into your bedroom you know you want your bedroom to be this place of relaxation to the point where as soon as you step in there you know that you're going to be relaxed so that means dust free clutter free nice scented candles um pillow spray and if you can invest a little bit into your bedding if you are a side sleeper look at getting a pillow designed for side sleepers or back sleeping front sleeping however you sleep there are pillows where the firmness is designed around your sleeping position try and make sure that the thickness of your duvet um, suits the 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 climate that you're in. I change mine twice a year. I have a 10.5 tall quilt and a 4.5 tall quilt. When I was younger, I used to have a 15 tall quilt, but obviously now that I don't sleep alone, the heat generated, I, I only need 10.5 in the winter. You can get those duvets that snap together as well if you need like an extra warm one. And man, if you've been looking for a sign or if you've been putting it off, here's your sign. Go and change your sheets, okay? Do it. You've been waiting too long. Okay, go and change your bedding because there is no better feeling in the world than fresh sheets. You know, I, th I, think the, I think a lot of the anger in the world could be resolved with fresh sheets. You know, you have a shower before bed and you're all like nice and warm and smooth and then you slip into those fresh sheets. It's no better feeling. You know, you, you want to you wanna look forward to bed and, you know, anxiety and mental health permitting. You know, getting into bed should be an enjoyable experience. Make your room cozy and just try and save that little bit of bedtime that you get for those special sleepy moments. Like I said, I know that living situations are different. I know some of you might be in uni halls or you may be in a situation where your bedroom is really the only room in the house that you feel comfortable being in. I understand. But if you can, try not to slip in between those sheets unless you're gonna fall asleep. In time, your brain will associate being in bed with being relaxed and tired. Put on some nice white noise, you know, the sound of a waterfall for 10 hours and slip away until your cat wakes you up at 6 a.m. because she's hungry and go fuck yourself. So um, that's all that I have for this video. There are little bits and bobs that you can treat yourself to. For me, I've wanted to make this video ever since um, I was speaking to my partner and he said something. We were talking about like the bed and being comfy and he, he just said like offhand, he just went like, comfort's a really big priority to you. And I was like, yes, yes it fucking is. Comfort is a priority for me. I make it a priority for me. And ever since then, like I thought, how can I invest the money that I would usually spend on more throwaway things into a more permanent solution for sleeping? How can I invest in, in my, you know, what is essentially a third of your life? So um, that's, that's, that's it. That's it for this video. Something to think about at least. Now go and change your sheets. Go and get some fresh sheets, okay? Go and enjoy them. And uh, until next time, guys, have a good night's sleep and I shall catch you later. Hair in my mouth. Too much hair now. Too much. I grew it too much. It's too long. To cut it.